but I find it simplest to illustrate it by hearing without comment so that you can get into tune with what is. You can't really get out of tune with it, but we don't know that yet. <laughs> Maybe some of you do. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the show. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to Trucking Tendencies. We're going to continue on with the segment on uh, fuel management for the Trucking Tendencies brought to us by ChatGPT40. And I mean, of course, it's, I mean, generated from a computer. But I, I absolutely love it. I, I like the assistance for it to be able to make a, a script for me to read is a helpful because me to stick to a script is much easier than me trying to ramble on and get the point across and waste everybody's time. But I will put my own. I'm obviously I've already been putting in my own ideas and and. Um, expert on my experiences so those are the tips that help and make it more authentic hopefully those that's coming across this podcast and you guys are enjoying it i do appreciate it and let's uh get on to this one i like this one uh this was one that i've been thinking about since 2015-16 formulating a plot formulating an idea to reduce this cost which is fuel management so, welcome back to Trucking Tendencies, the podcast dedicated to all the hardworking owner-operators out there. I'm your host. In today's episode, we're focusing on fuel management. I just sprayed some so I could speak clearly. The, with fuel prices fluctuating, managing your fuel efficiency is crucial for your bottom line. Let's explore strategies for improving fuel efficiency and finding the best fuel prices along your routes fuel efficiency starts with maintaining optimal tire pressure that is number one under inflated tires can reduce fuel efficiency and increase wear and tear on not just your tires on your suspension system on your steering system you know it's a chain lean of chain uh chain of uh effect whatever We'll discuss the importance of regularly checking your tire pressure and how to use tire pressure monitoring systems to make sure this task easier, to make this task easier. Properly inflated tires can improve fuel efficiency by up to 3%. I don't know how to calculate that in 3%, but over a year, that's a lot of money back into your pocket using fuel cards can help you find the best fuel prices and manage your fuel expenses these cards offer discounts rewards and detailed reports on fuel purchases some of the top fuel cards for truckers include comdata efs and wex we'll explain how these cards work for their benefits and choose and how to choose the right one for your business uh expert speaking Fuel cards are not just about discounts, they provide valuable data that can help you track and manage your fuel expenses more effectively. Look for cards that offer the best rebates and additional benefits like maintenance discounts. Leveraging technology to track fuel usage can provide valuable insights into your fuel consumption and help you identify areas for improvement. Telematic systems and fuel management apps like FuelBook and GasBuddy can help you monitor fuel prices and consumption patterns. These tools can help you plan your fuel stops and optimize your routes for better efficiency. Uh, GasBuddy kind of dropped the ball on me, so I stopped using them. They, they dropped the ball because I used them once or twice and then they didn't reflect the real price. Or I didn't see it. It, it wasn't translated to me it didn't like I didn't see that it was like the actual price once I pulled up it was much it was more it was at least like I think 10 cents more at least 10 cents more and I 
got me upset so I stopped using them because there was some kind of shenanigans going on but fuel efficient driving practices can make a significant difference in your fuel consumption we'll share tips on how to drive more efficiently including maintaining a steady speed avoiding unnecessary idling and using cruise control when appropriate these practices not only save fuel but also reduce wear and tear on your vehicle so let's discuss the importance of reducing idling time excessive idling wastes fuel and contributes to engine wear using auxiliary power units and optimizing your stops can help reduce idling we'll explore how to implement these strategies effectively trucker speaking reducing idling has been a game changer for my fuel efficiency i use an apu to power my truck when i'm resting and it says saves a significant amount of fuel they should have i should have probably put that trucker sure probably talked about how much it saved them per year which is about i think it's about anywhere in the ballpark from 15 to 20 thousand dollars a year from not idling like sleeping in hotels every night but anyway choosing the right fuel efficient truck for your business is another important consideration We'll discuss the features to look for in a fuel efficient truck, such as aerodynamics, engine efficiency, and weight. Investing in newer, more fuel efficient models can lead to long-term savings. Lastly, let's talk about planning your fuel stops strategically. Apps like Trucker Path and Loves Connect can help you find the best fuel prices along your routes. Planning your fuel stops ahead of time can ensure you get the best prices and avoid unnecessary detours. So that's it for today's episode on fuel management. Managing your fuel efficiently can save you money and improve your bottom line. If you have any questions or need further information, feel free to reach out to us and stay safe out there. Till next time, eyes on the road. Thank you for listening to Trucking Tendencies. I'm your host. Don't forget to subscribe to our podcast and follow us on social media for more tips and updates. Thank you. And I'm not going to really finish it there. I'm going to go check this out. I'm going to see how much... I just go back to chat GPT. How much does an APU electric versus diesel powered APU save a truck driver per year let's see what it answers this is yeah the saving aid is uh, the savings a truck driver can achieve by using an electric auxiliary power unit versus a diesel power unit can vary based on several factors such as fuel cost usage patterns and the efficiency of the units however we can provide a general comparison fuel consumption typically a diesel apu consumes about 0.1 to 0.2 gallons of diesel per hour 10 hours it's two gallons 10 gallons or 2 gallons? No, 10 to 20 gallons per hour? I'm not good at math. Fuel cost. Assuming the average cost of a diesel is around $4 per gallon. Ha! Usage. If the APU runs for 8 hours a day, 300 days a year, a common scenario for long haul truckers, that would be... Where's that? How come it doesn't show me? It doesn't tell me that. Electric APU, electric consumption, electricity consumption. Electric APUs typically use power from the truck's battery system, which is recharged by the truck's engine. Fuel cost, minimal additional fuel cost since it primarily relies on the existing charging system. So it needs a storage system too, a, a, a solid storage system to save enough power for at least, at least eight, six to eight hours. I wonder how that electric APU does it. Usage and maintenance. Electric APUs generally have lower maintenance cost and longer lifespans. Saving calculations, assuming an electric APU requires negligible additional fuel. 
So annual savings, annual savings cost for diesel, APU, annual savings is 1,440 minus 100. So that's what it costs. How come I can't see it? Oh, I need to put it in landscape mode. Annual savings, annual fuel cost for diesel APU, annual fuel cost for electric APU. So 1,440 bucks. So additional factors. Maintenance costs, diesel APUs have higher maintenance costs due to their mechanical nature, potentially adding, adding hundreds of dollars per year in savings with an electric APU. Initial cost, electric APUs may have higher upfront costs, but these are offset by the long-term savings on fuel and maintenance. Environmental impact, electric APUs produce no emissions, which can be an additional benefit in terms of regulatory compliance and company sustainability goals. So in summary, a truck driver can save approximately $1,400 per year on fuel alone by switching from a diesel APU to an electric APU with additional savings possible from reduced maintenance costs and other benefits. So that's the podcast. Thanks for tuning in again. Uh, please share this and give it a thumbs up rate it whatever you feel and keep yeah eyes on the road thank you